Hello everyone and welcome to the weird, scary and horrible parts of humanity. Today we are continuing our look into the 9-11 hijackers and looking at Mohand Mohammed Faisal Sheray, who was one of five hijackers aboard United Airlines Flight 175. If you were aged approximately six or over at the time of 9-11, the crashing of United Airlines Flight 175 into the South Tower of the World Trade Center in New York will be indemnably implanted on your brain. With the world's media and countless individuals at the time focused on the World Trade Center following the crash of American Airlines Flight 11 into the North Tower. Departing from Boston Logan International Airport on the 11th of September 2001 at 8.14 a.m. and heading for Los Angeles International Airport, California, the Boeing 767-200 had a combined 65 occupants with five hijackers and nine crew members. Al Sharay was born in Viasir province in the southwest of Saudi Arabia on the 7th of May 1979. He was a member of the Bani Sheikh tribe of the southern part of Saudi Arabia. Despite sharing the same name as Wail Al Sharay and Walid Al Sharay, brothers who hijacked American Airlines Flight 11, who were also both from the Asir province of Saudi Arabia, Mohand Al Sharay was of no relation to them. Not much is known about his early life. In early 2000, he went to fight in Chechnya for the Chechen Republic of Ishkaria as part of a Mujahideen. The Second Chechen War took place between the 7th of August 1999 and the 30th of April 2000, with the insurgency phase lasting between the 1st of May 2000 and the 16th of April 2009, resulting in Russian victory with between 50,000 and 80,000 people killed. It is speculated that in Chechnya he met Hamza al Gamdi, a fellow United Airlines Flight 175 hijacker who was pictured with whom he would foster a strong relationship. Travelling back to his native Saudi Arabia on the 23rd of October 2000, he applied for a US B1 B2 visa at the US Consulate General in Jeddah, with his visa application pictured to the right. Bar an error on his school's address, which he listed as Riyadh KSA, there were no errors in his visa application, and it was granted without any obstacles, having listed his occupation as a student. He was not interviewed before being granted his visa, with Saudi Arabian citizens, who to this day require a visa to visit the United States of America, only interviewed if there was a previous denial or something wrong with their application. In October 2000, Al Gamdi and Al Sharay flew from Iran to Kuwait. A post office box was rented in Delray Beach, Florida, with a person who signed up to use the post box, utilizing the names of Al Sharay and Al Gamdi. The person used the computers at the Delray Beach Public Library to get the post box, with a request made in January 2001. However, Al Sharay and Al Gamdi were not in the United States of America at the time, thereby who signed up for this post box remains a mystery to this day. Al Sharay flew into Miami, Florida in the United States of America on the 28th of May 2001 from Dubai in the United Arab Emirates along with Al Gamdi and American Airlines Flight 11 hijacker Abdulaziz Al Omagi. He lived in Delray Beach, Florida and a librarian at Delray Beach Public Library remembered his name on sign-up sheets waiting to use a computer. Once Ferry opened a SunTrust bank account with a cash deposit made in June 2001, before getting a Florida State ID card on the 2nd of July 2001. While in Florida, he trained on simulators at Flight Safety Aviation School, which is owned by Berkshire Halfway and located in Vero Beach, Florida. Al Sharay trained along with Al Omagi and Sayed Al Gamdi, a United Airlines Flight 93 hijacker. Al Sharay and Fires Bunny Ahmad, a fellow United Airlines Flight 175 hijacker who is pictured to the right, purchased first class seats one way for United Airlines Flight 175, paying $4,464.50 through the United Airlines website. Amazingly, we still don't know the exact date that the tickets were purchased, however it is speculated that they purchased the tickets on either the 27th or 29th of August 2001. Both gave their addresses as mail boxes in Delray Beach, Florida. They purchased a ticket using a visa card issued by Mustafa Al Hawasawi pictured. Al Hawasawi is a Saudi Arabian citizen who is alleged to have acted as a key facilitator for the September 11 attacks and is currently held in Guantanamo Bay.
While these were different mailbox addresses given in the bookings of fellow United Airlines Flight 175 hijackers Hamza Al Gamdi, picture to the left, and Ahmed Al Gamdi, picture to the right, the four utilised the same telephone number in their bookings. On the 7th of September 2001, Al Sharay flew aboard Spirit Airlines along with Al Gamdi and from Fort Lauderdale to Newark, New Jersey, having paid $139.75 for the tuckets, which were purchased through the Mile High Travel Agency in Lauderdale by the Surrey. Exactly what Al Sharay did during the next few days is unknown. However, on the 10th of September 2001, he checked into the Myla Hotel in Boston, Massachusetts, staying in the same room as American Airlines Flight 11 hijacker Satam Al Zukami, along with Flight 175 hijackers Fires Bunny Ahmad, as well as Marwan Al Sharay. The two star hotel is now named the Found Hotel Boston Common, which is pictured and remains open to this day. On the 11th of September 2001, he checked in for United Airlines Flight 175 along with Bunny Ahmad, as well as Ahmed Al Gamdi and Hamza Al Gamdi, with the United Airlines ticket representative noting that they struggled to understand the basic security questions and that they had to repeat the questions a number of times. Al Sharay boarded the Boeing 767 200 and was sat in seat 2B next to Bunny Ahmad, who was seated in 2A. Scheduled to depart at 8am, the Boeing 767-200 took off at 8.14am from runway 9. At 8.28am, the hijackers gained access to the cockpit, murdering 51-year-old Captain Victor Sangancini and First Officer Michael Horrocks, aged 38. It is believed that Bunny Ahmad and al Sharay murdered Sangancini and Horrocks. However, the black box from United Flight 175 was destroyed, and we can only speculate based on phone calls from passengers Peter Hansen and Brian David Sweeney, as well as United Flight Attendant Robert Fangman from the GTE Airphones in the rear of the Boeing 767-200, with Hamza Al Gamdi and Ahmed Al Gamdi both in the cabin of the plane, keeping passengers and flight attendants at bay. Turning the Boeing 767-200 to New York, Al Shahey flew the plane into the South Tower of the World Trade Center at 9:03 a.m. Al Shahey crashed the plane into the eastern half of the Southern Tower of the World Trade Center's southern facade, close to the southeast corner between the 77th and 85th floors, causing the tower's structural integrity to be compromised more severely than the North Tower, leading to the South Tower becoming the first tower to collapse at 9:59 a.m. Thank you very much for watching, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to be informed of when new videos come out. Also why not hit that like button and leave a nice comment, it helps more than you know and your support is truly appreciated. Until next time, stay awesome, stay classy, be kind to everyone you meet, have an amazing day and remember that truth is always more interesting than fuction.